What's going on YouTube? This is M Cole Forty, and I'm here with um, Zach. And Zach's gonna show us his Labyrinth of Friends deck. Zachary Francis. Yeah, yes. Zachary Francis. Zachary Francis. And uh, go ahead and um, why don't you go ahead and start with the monsters and show us what's going on? Okay. Well, first off, we have two Shining Angels. Uh, UFO Roid. I put in there in the beginning, but. The Shining Angels was a better decision because okay. you can get the you can get the little guys box of friends, which I'm gonna show you in a little. Okay. So, uh, and you could get them out, especially someone defense, and then basically they destroy blah blah blah. Um, and then I run one mass chameleon because mm -hmm. it gets back my box of friends. Okay. And I run a redox because I have a crap ton of earth monsters in here, and you can just summon them in defense whenever you want. Okay. Or. You can also defense, and then I have a BLS, okay, dark armed, and chaos rusher. I run these. Now you might be wondering why I run these. I run these because I run D boys. Okay. And I'll show you that in the in, yeah. I run D boys. So there we go. I'll show you that in the uh, soon, sooner or later. I run two giant rats. Okay. So the giant rats basically are there because I run Labyrinth Walls and Millennium Shields, so okay. these, which I will show you in a minute, yep. and they're Earth, so you can summon those off of him. Uh, three Box of Friends, obviously, because they're good, okay. and then two Labyrinth Walls, Okay. two Millennium Shields for your Box of Friends. Alright, now, so you're going into two level 5 monsters with... Uh with 3,000 defense, is there any reason why you're doing that on purpose? Yes, I'm doing this on purpose because basically you want to defend these monsters so you can get out to level 5, but I'm doing that on purpose because I have level 5s in here. I have okay. level 5 XYZs and I run 3 Shield and Swords. Yes, okay. And shield and Sword is the best card with this deck. It's pretty good, because yeah. Because you summon. Basically, you summon Millennium Shield and you summon a Labyrinth Wall off a of box of friends, and then you can switch into attack positions, Shield and Sword. They're both 3,000 meters. Okay. So they are just amazing. Good, good. They are amazing. Are you, so, uh, any more monsters? Yes. Oh, I dropped them. I will get them. Oh, that's fine. It's all good. All right, I got these. Where's my Deep Voice? Can I drop the Deep Voice? No. I got the Deep Voice. All right, whatever. It's fine. Uh, I run three Deep Voice. Yes. I'm going to find the other one. I don't know where I went. And I run two Effect Bears. Okay. So those are basically the monsters. Yeah, I'm so gonna find my deep boys with you. Oh, uh, you drop, you drop his boys. Drop my boys. His boys my, drop. My boys of D. Okay. So those are basically the monsters. Okay. And um, then we have for the spells. We have three shield sword. Uh huh. The well, one of the stars of the deck. Yes, the stars of the deck. And this is another star of the deck, actually. I think instant fusions. Oh wow. Okay. So what do you do with that? So basically, instant fusions. When I get my box of friends and I go level 5, I can basically summon another Cybersaurus, the common level 5. Okay. Uh, that everyone goes into for Ace Fusion. And then I can go into rank 3, like uh, rank 5 that yeah. has 3 monsters. Like, nobody ever seen this card number oh, 53 harder. Okay. So it's really good. Like, you, you can do a lot. I'll explain the cards later on. Okay. But you, can, you can go into, or you can even go into this guy. You can go into. Utopia Ray. Oh wow, without even Utopia, that's pretty cool. Yeah, without even using Utopia. Now, uh, let's see some more of your uh, spells. Yes, I will show you more of my spells. Um, then you have, and then all I run is one mausoleum of the Earth Emperor. Yeah. Because you need, uh, just in case Millennium Shield, you draw it, or you draw the Labyrinth Walls, you can summon it. Just by paying a thousand life. And back when you were running UFO Roid, it worked yeah, with so that too. Yeah, it was really good. It yeah. was really good when I was running UFO Roid. Okay, and now the traps, right? And then two trap stuns, because you just want to... You want to go ham. You want to go ham. On yeah. Them. Basically, you want to summon your two 3,000, play Shield Sword, then you trap stun, they can't do anything. You're, you basically... It's a pretty solid field. It's a solid field. And I run through break two breakthrough skill. Yeah. Because it's like you want to stop effects. You basically want to stop everything they do so they don't get too too powerful monsters on the field. So you can basically rape them with your with your three thousand beaters. Yeah. Or your or your twenty five or your uh, X Y Z monsters that you summon. Yeah, we'll get to that in a sec. Yes. And then I have two called the haunted because okay. you just want to summon the level five back or whatever. And if you, you have box of friends box and of grave, friends, you yes. can bring it back on chain They're for an MST. Yeah. And then I run two DNA surgeries. Now people will be wondering why do you run DNA surgeries? It's because the level Fives. Basically, I can go into level fives like this one, which requires two zombie 
type um, level fives. And it also messes with the Bujin matchup as yes, well, right? Yes, it messes with the Bujin matchup yeah. too. And you basically can summon, special summon one monster from your graveyard. Okay. Which is a, so basically it's like a monster born for you. Yeah, in case you're in a bad spot. Yeah, bad spot. Yeah. And it's, it's very great. Okay. Great call. And uh, you have what, three or four? And then I have uh, what? Four, four traps left? Yeah, I have four traps left. Okay. I have uh, one song warning, obviously. Yeah. Of course. I have mirror force, which the mirror force is broken too. Yeah. And I run two Phoenix and Wing Blast because. If I draw some bad hand, or if I draw like the shield or whatever, and I don't need it in my hand at that point, I just Phoenix Wing Blast, discard that one, and then it's good. And then I have Redox to, if I go into it, I can just remove them, and then. It's okay, all good. and um, so uh, what are these uh, two cards right here? Because I imagine that's a 38 card deck. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so it's, what are I these think, two right here? I think it's a, I think it's 40. This is 40 for now. Yeah, okay. It's actually 42 cards. Okay. But, the, but these ones, I am going to put in for uh, <laughs> creature swaps. Yeah. Because the creature swaps... Bring out Shining yeah, Angels. Yeah, bring out Shining Angel, or you can even creature swap your box of friends and attack into it. And yeah. Two of, and they're really good. It's yeah, really of course, good. of course. Now, uh, go ahead and scoop that up, and let's go to the extra yes, deck. we will go to the extra deck. Let's scoop all this up. Scooping, scooping, scooping. There you go. Yeah. Mm. Okay, so now we got the extra deck. Okay. So obviously, since I run three institutions, I run three Saber Stars. Yeah. Now they're Earth because you have Redox. Okay. So that's why you want to run Saber That's some uh, pure logic right there. Yes, pure logic. And then I run, this is really fun actually. I really like these two Shark Forges because basically, I can go like this. This is a really good play if anyone wants to play this deck. Um, so you have a Millennium Shield and you have a Lavender Wall, which you get, obviously, a lot. Yeah. You get them a lot. So, and then you have an Instant Fusion in your hand, which you get a lot, too, because you have one three. Okay. Obviously. You play Instant Fusion, get a Saber Saurus, Overlay, and then you have Shield Sword, too. If you have Shield Sword, if you have all these cards, yeah. you're basically set. Because you just go here, and then this can attack three times for 6,000 damage. Okay. Two times. Cool. So you can do a lot. There's and that's, lot so that's 84 on, on board. That's yeah. just game right there. Yeah, that's basically game. Yeah. That's basically game. You All basically right. win the game. That's 84. So you can OTK with this deck too if you want to. Um, yeah, let me just go back to it. Okay. Um, so three Saurus, two Shark Fortress, and then we have... Um, what is it? Where is it? Oh yeah, right here. And then we have two Volcasaurus, obviously, because they're... This is the best rank, best rank just five. Just generic rank five. And then okay. you have... Two ty uh, one Tyrus, one Adrius. Of course. Because you just need them to rank five. Exactly. And then you have um, you have a Leo Arms. Now I run Leo Arms because basically I have a Utopia Ray V. Okay. So Leo Arms can flip to Utopia Ray V. Oh, that's pretty. Make him three thousand. That's pretty more. neat. So um, when he's when he's out, he can become a fifty six hundred beater. Okay. So he's just. If you ever get those out, you're gonna win the game. Yeah, and you yeah. have a trap stun or whatever, you're gonna you're, 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 gonna, you're gonna destroy them. Okay, and then the in the wheel arms, if you guys didn't know, it's three thousand attack. Yeah, yeah. So, so if they have skill drain up, so, you have an option. Yeah, you have an option for skill drain. Yeah, in case you don't have that short yeah, and, sword and shield. Exactly. And then um. Short and sealed. And then I had a crimson <laughs> knight vampire beam. Yeah, yeah. For the DNA for surgery. The DNA surgery. We yes. saw that. And, and what else? We have. Um, the Utopia Ray, of course, and then we have Exostag because this this is insect monsters. Oh right? wow! So you've got two different options. Yeah, there. So that's we have cool. Two different options, which is really awesome. Yeah. And then um, we have Heart Earth, and then I've never read this card actually. I just got it, but let's just read it for fun because it's a level three. Well, maybe I'll I'll link the uh, I'll, we'll, link, we'll the link the description. Yeah. The description. Okay. And then, uh, I was running this Exa Beetle because you're running because two UFO roids. Two UFO roids. Yeah. And this is level six and it's really good too. Of but course. this we're probably gonna take out and we're probably going to put in one more uh, Adrius or Tyrus. Alright. But that that's basically the deck, man. Alright, well, uh... And then you can decide whatever you want. Alright, thanks, Zachary. Uh, I got you. I'll, uh... We'll hope to see you around yeah. at Regionals. Yeah. Alright. Have a good one. You will.